ones that have the white one. I just dropped one. Hi guys, it's Pascal Love here and today's video is an elf review video and I'm really excited about this video because I've been wanting to film this video for you guys forever. So finally here it is, so let's just jump right in. Um, let's just talk about the brushes for a minute because I love so the ones that have the white one, these are a dollar, and then the ones with the black one are three dollars. Okay. They come in a clear bag like this, and the only reason why I kept this is to show you guys. Pretty much came in those little plastic baggies, and also each makeup, um, each brush have a little sleeve. So this one would come like this in a sleeve, and then inside of this one. Pretty much that's how they would I mean, come for the price the brushes are good because I've had them for so long they've never shed and I've watched them many times they never shed so that's the reason why I definitely recommend those brushes. I got the um, blending eye brush and I use this for eyeshadow and this is a foundation brush and then this one is a spoolie brush that I love and this one right here is just I just love those flat brushes because they never shed so I also use them to do face masks. I even have this new one over here. So, and they're only a dollar. So I love those brushes from the studio line. I have those brushes. So this one, this was the first brush that I ever got from Elf, and then I saw how good it was and how it never shed, and that's the reason why I went ahead and got more brushes. So this was a plain brush, and I added the gold um, washi tape, and I added, um, I painted the bottom. But this one is the angle blush brush and use this to apply you can either contour with this one small stipple brush so what it does is it gives you a nice airbrush finish you can use this for foundation it works perfect for foundation this one is a powder brush and this is how it looks and it's just flat and I just love this one the next one I own is another stipple brush and that's just a bigger one so it's like this one but a bigger version. Another perfect one for a um, airbrush finish. This one is the complexion brush. It looks like this. And I like to use this to apply powder on my face. Like um, not actual mineral powder but baby powder. Yes, I use baby powder on my skin as a translucent powder. So this is what I like to use to apply it. This one is called the eyeshadow C brush and it's just perfect for eyeshadow. I definitely recommend this brush. This is not an actual brush, but it's called, uh, it's a mascara and shadow shield and this is how it looks and it's dirty as well because as you guys can see, the eyeshadow fallout is still on it because I just used this. So pretty much the way you use it, when you're putting mascara, um, eyeshadow on your eyelids, you put this like this so that all the fallouts can fall on this. And if you want to use this for um, mascara, you go like this to guard your eyeshadow so that all the mascara extras, I guess, can go on top of it. So this is what this is. And this one is one of my absolute favorites. It's called the e.l.f. Blush Brush. And I love how it's shaped. It's perfect for applying your highlighter. Um, the highlighter I use is from Physicians Formula. I absolutely love it. And I just use it like this, um, like over here, and I also use like the little, the end, like on the bridge of my nose. I just love this brush. It never sheds. And this one is another one of my favorites, and this one is called the Flawless Concealer Brush. And this is how the end looks, and it's perfect for concealers and applying like a, a setting powder under your eyes. I absolutely love the e.l.f. brush. Oh wait, two more brushes I forgot to show you guys. So. I've had this for like so long, the writing kind of faded on it. But this one is called the Elf Kabuki brush, and it's such um, it's just a nice fluffy brush. This is how it looks, and that's another Kabuki brush by Elf, and this one is slanted. That's the only difference. So that's the two um, Kabuki brush that I own from. This was the first ever eyeshadow palette that I got from Elf. And the reason why I got this one is because my older sister used to use it and then it was just so nice and I was like where did you get this and she was like oh it's from elf and when I got it it was only 
was it three dollars or six dollars I forgot how, what the price was but it's definitely under seven dollars and this is how it looks this one is called the little black beauty book and I think they have three different ones one of them have um, like colorful ones and this one pretty much only have warm colors and this is why it's called warm it's edition gonna be black in the mirror but there's a mirror over there and then it comes with this little application thing over there and then the eyeshadows are pretty much neutral colors you have your golds, your browns, some turquoise colors that I love, some greens. Um, I just love it because I don't like using crazy colors on my eyes. I like using nude, golden, brownish colors and it's just perfect. Like look at all of these different colors that you get. And for the price, this is totally The next amazing. eyeshadow palette that I own from e.l.f. Is just this little elf flawless eyeshadow and this one is um, the golden goddess one this was only a dollar and the reason why I love it is because the colors are so super pigmented so this one I didn't do any swatch for you guys because it's too many colors but this one I can definitely do a swatch to show you guys I'm gonna use my fingers to show you guys how pigmented these are So, that's to show you guys how pigmented this eyeshadow is. It's eyeshadow, and this one is called Bronze Beauty, and I only own one of their eyeshadows. I believe this was three bucks or a dollar, I don't, I don't remember, but um, when I got the packaging, I don't know if I broke it by accident, but pretty much this piece came out. Unfortunately, so this is how it looks. I'm just gonna hold it so it don't fall out. This is how it looks. So pretty much, this is a gold eyeshadow, and it's a baked eyeshadow. So baked eyeshadows, when you put it on dry, um, it's still gonna look like a, like a regular eyeshadow. But then if you wet the eyeshadow, it's gonna look more pigmented, like for like the face. The only thing I got is the Elf Mineral Face Primer, and this is how it looks. And there's so many different primers out there from the professional to different primers. But honestly, this one works amazing, pump, which I like. And they have different ones, um, but I just chose the lash curler that I got. This was only a dollar. And it came with like six different ones of this little thing over there that you can change. You can always take this out and wash it. So just for a buck, this was a bronzer slash highlighter, but this one, I had it for a little while, so the, um, the writing is kind of faded on it. But this one is called Bora Bora, and I believe it's a bronzer slash highlighter. This is how it looks. The thing is with highlighters, a lot of them have a lot of glitter, and this one don't have a lot of glitter. It just gives you a nice natural glow, which is why I love Bora. My own is Passion Pink. And this is how it looks. This is a blush slash highlighter. And I just like the color because it has a nice pink kish color highlighter. And this one is called Blush Gems. And this is how it looks. And it's just really sparkly. If you're that type of girl who loves sparkly stuff on your cheeks, this is what you go for. Are, but like when you're buying stuff from pretty much a little bit goes a long way because look how much I already got on the brush anyways I'm just gonna put a little bit like at the bridge of my nose so you guys can see and over here do you guys see the glow I know you guys see the glow like come on like this is amazing for three bucks you should run and get one right now. I don't own too many of the e.l.f. lip products, but I own some of their pencils and some of their moisturizing lipsticks. Different ones here. This one is rich red, and this one is the one I have on right now. And this one is like a natural colored one. This one is called Praline, and I don't know what color this is. Anyways, I'm sorry about that, but this one, this is how it looks. It's a nice, rich, pigmented color. And I'm just gonna do a swatch so you guys have an idea 
of how it looks it's really pigmented it's a nice red color and the application goes really nice on your lips it's really smooth and they have so many different colors online that you can pick from this um, this is another one that's like a pink one like a pink purple color and this is how it looks And then the next one I have is my favorite one. This one I use it under my nude lipsticks. It looks perfect. Or sometimes I just use this by itself and put some nude lip gloss on top of it. just a lip balm and this one one thing I like about this one is that it has a minty flavor to it so when you put it on you have this nice sparkly feeling on your lips which I love it, guys for my elf review I hope you guys enjoyed this video so what I'll do is in the description box below I'm gonna go ahead and put the website to where you guys can find those products and if you live in New York City, they have an Elf store in Manhattan. So I'll also put the address of the Elf store in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I enjoyed filming it for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys!